Hello, Joe. Hey, Danny. How's it going? I don't know what happened. I think my call got dropped. It's okay. It's probably the government. They don't. They we're getting too close. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just wanted to warn people, though, you do need to be careful about uh, stating your controversial opinions. Uh, there's a judge in uh, Kings County uh, who is currently in a lot of hot water because she had some uh, very racist and homophobic opinions that uh, did not go over well. Yeah, I think. How did she release release them? T- talking to people and people heard her and reported it and uh it uh you know then it, they had her removed what's, her last, realized, what's her last name oh gosh I don't cohen remember. or uh, nipple I, look it up. Uh, I, I know it was a uh the, the it was uh, I'm, trying to, woman. I'm trying to google it okay uh they, they had her oh, uh, here removed then uh you, then they had to send her back because you can't do that it's, it's an elected position uh so she's working but they're just not giving her any cases so she's just getting paid you know 200 grand to sit there and do nothing yeah Um, i I found it right here her name is judge harriet thompson i will say one of the weirdest things to me about america is that judges are elected that is so bizarre to me i think i've said this before but that is so strange that and sometimes people have said that like in certain counties in America, like the judge is not a lawyer. So it, it depends where. Um, it happens to you, like, you can be Supreme Court judge uh, without being a lawyer. That's fucking which is insane. Crazy. It, it, yeah. Has uh, that ever in, happened? In New York, uh, I don't think that's ever happened, but okay. you can do that. Uh, in New York, uh, you do have to be a lawyer for like X amount of years, and it, it's a whole process. But the entire thing, it's all chosen by the party. I know a number of judges. Um, and, you know, they explained to me how this all happened. They just they cozied up to the party um, and the party put them on the ballot. You know that it's it's always it's always a Democrat. It's, you know, and they make sure you're put on the ballot and you're going to get elected. Don't you worry. Republican, it's not going to happen. Right. Um, and, and it's just and there are a lot of people, by the way, who would otherwise be Republicans uh, that are judges. Sure. And other they, than they're just. Yeah, yeah but they, they have to play the game. It's, and is, uh, it, is and it understood that you're like, and you're also going to like, you know, your decisions are going to be in line with the party in general? Um, Not not exactly. Uh, but if you make too much noise the other way, then, you know, you might get us. Oh, they'll tell you you're not, you're not going to be on the ballot next time. Because right. uh, like every time, you, you know, you have to get reelected, um, which is nuts. Uh, well, the one thing I think is crazy is they actually have um, a – competent like once you reach a certain age uh you have to take a test to make sure you're competent and get recertified That's and fine. they have that they have that for judges and not for a president yeah i mean imagine the the uh, like geopolitical calamity if the president failed that though <laughs> like it would like the literally like the stock market would open down eight percent if, if the president well, I just think that at that point, once you reach test. once you reach like seventy years old, you, you, and you take it, and you can't, uh, you know, you, you can't pass, then it just should go to the vice president. Yeah, you know, like, um, the, so it, it happens. You, you could there are cases of people who aren't aren't lawyers that become judges, uh, and this does happen in New York, but. You, they have to have passed the bar, and they're technically, you know, and be admitted. So they went to law school, but they never actually practiced law. They just they worked. Understand, uh, 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 yeah, and and also you do have to be like technically working in the legal field for X amount of years. But usually, like there's some people, uh, one judge in particular I know who is the worst. He's never practiced law a day in his life, but he. Uh, his father was this big shot in the Democratic Party. Got him, uh, like basically this clerkship where he did nothing for like seven years under another judge. And then as soon as he was able to be put on a ballot, his father arranged that he was put on the ballot and now he's been a judge forever. And the guy doesn't know anything about the law. Yeah. And I will say another crazy thing with is, is how they like, cause in Canada, it's way different. You don't vote for all these people you've never heard of and know nothing about other than their party affiliation, like the judges and stuff here. Whereas like in Canada, at least like when you go to the ballot, you're like you're voting for like the prime minister or like, you know, the head of the, the province or, you know, at least like your like your ward or whatever in the city. But I guess like like who knows anything about the judge when they vote for them? Yeah, well, they I just mean, vote for them because of the party, the- I guess. Right. If it was up to me. Uh, yeah. If I would make it that, you know, you cannot put the party on the ballot. Yeah. So you would just see the name of people, and you better do your own research. That's to decide a who good. You want to vote for. That is a good idea, Joe. 
I mean, that'll probably never happen in a million years, but that's a great idea, actually, is you just... Because the moment that... I mean, people, the confused looks on people's faces. <laughs> if there was no party when they went to the ballot box, they would literally... It would be like uh, playing the lottery at that point. It would be like, I like that guy's name. That 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 person's name is... That, that name's Lucky. Or this is like the person's first name is the name of my dog. I guess I'll vote for them. You probably have a lot of people changing their names, like really cool sounding names. Oh, absolutely. Like the Max Powers and all that shit. There would be lots of that. Um, all right, Joe. Thanks for calling. I appreciate it, man. Okay, take care. Take care.